for loneliness, I must not fear loneliness because he has told me straight, I will never leave you or forsake you. And I must live in the enjoyment of every day based on what my friend, the Lord Jesus Christ, has said. It is an experiential knowledge. Everything, just like a friend that you trust, everything that he has told you in this book about himself that relates to you, you claim it and you enjoy it and you live it. And you actually function by faith off of it. But this knowledge of Christ to grow in is also by imitation. You know, someone has said that the highest compliment that you can give to another person is to imitate them. And so the greatest compliment of knowing Jesus Christ is by imitating him. We are told over and over to be followers or imitators of him. We don't only learn about him and growing in his knowledge. We don't only experience his promises to us, but we imitate him by daily living and know him more and more and more. And we grow in that knowledge more and more and more. We just don't have a ticket to heaven, folks. It's a growth journey. It's for Joey and it's for us. We're to grow in grace in the knowledge and diligently apply these three waves in verse number 11 and verse number 14 and verse number 18 that we will find and we will find that the Lord will say, well done. Well done. You didn't just get the ticket of grace, but you grew in that grace. And so be it for me and so be it for you and so be it for Joey. Let's stand, please.